Hi fellow reefers, this is Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquaria. As promised, here's the update for June and July. I have done some changes. I got new corals. And this is the main shot, but I'm going to go over what's been going on and what I've been changing. Okay, as you notice, the tooth stall keeps growing and growing and growing. Okay, what I did on it is I went ahead and I moved it forward. Let me show you that. Okay, if you see there, I moved it forward because the uh, Duncan coral and the frog span on the other side were actually, uh, well, actually the uh, tooth stall was, has grown so big that it was actually touching each of these on the sides. So what I did is I moved it forward and that remedied that type of situation. Here, I'll show you on this side also. You see the frog span has also grown phenomenal, so it kept touching it. If you see there, you know, if, if you see right there on the uh, tooth stall, it was due to the fact that the frog span had grown and grown. Okay, so let me show you what the changes are. First of all, as you might have seen on the other videos, I got um, Gor Gorgonia. I placed it here, I, I glued it as you see. The candy cane keeps growing and growing and creating more heads. Now, here's what happened. The red cap, the Montepori uh, Capricornus cap, it broke in half. So a, a little of the piece, you'll notice it is down here. I just placed it there for now. Now that bird nest, that I had gotten it from a, a, um, a frag, just a little piece, that actually fell. So I had it uh, resting on the Monty red cap. So what I did is I was able to find a little hole right there on the rock. And as you see, it's uh, standing right there and hopefully it'll start to uh, grow, grow and go up in its way. Now, the torch coral, this is one of the effects that on the previous video about fuel, uh, the torch coral is starting to open a little more uh, with fuel. This reaction I did not have with the Reef Plus, but yet I'm having it with this uh, product, fuel. And moving along. The Discosoma reds, there they are, they're growing and growing now the blue ones they kind of like uh detached so i have one here one actually there and there's one on the other side uh let me show you back here you see it back there they kind of floated around and they ended up there now the chalice this chalice uh is much much bigger i try to uh move it like to the front and it broke off so this is one piece but then the other piece if you notice back back there you see it back there there it is so i just uh place it there where uh, it won't uh be shadowed by the uh tooth stone. the other corals are doing great they're growing and growing this uh blue mushroom uh, uh this kosoma decided to attach to the front of uh, the glass. Let me give you a side shot so you see that. I don't know if you can see it well, but it's there, it's attached. Duncan coral, my lord. When I got this coral, it had, I think it had like two heads, then it went to four, six. Now I counted the other day, I'm up to eight heads and there's two more heads that are coming out on the bottom. I don't know if you can see them, but right there, there's two more heads that are coming out. Let me see if I can get a better shot of it. You see them there? Yep. You see what I mean? There's two more heads coming out. The candy cane from uh, SeaWorld has taken a different configuration. It has actually split. It used to be like uh, one complete piece that looked like a heart shape. Well, now it's, it has actually split. As 
So let me take you on another uh, side shot. Okay. This bird nest also, uh, I broke off and I just attached it to one of the rocks and there it goes. It's growing and growing and growing. As you notice, my uh, lights, I've uh, done a different configuration on the lights. I went ahead and I left channel A, which is the white lights. I left them at 35%. And I uh, raised the channel B, which is the uh, blue lights. I raised them to 70%. I I'm sorry, to 75%. Because as you must be aware, uh, all these corals that are photosynthetic, they actually live from the photosynthesis of uh, the light so th they actually live from the the blue light not the white light the 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 white lights uh when you uh, increase them it's basically to get the uh, corals to uh, grow and for our uh, uh, viewing pleasure well you know you you would see it more light up and all that but really really when you go to any of these uh lfs you'll notice that the blue lights are ramped up and the white lights are either very low in percentage wise or, or actually to zero. And that's a side shot of the tank. Another shot here. Okay, this shot uh, is going to be a top-down shot. I turn all the filters off so you get an idea of what it looked if you were viewing from the top. Okay, so this is uh, basically it. I do hope that you enjoyed uh, this video. If, if you did, hit the like button, the thumbs up, or make a comment or share it with your fellow YouTubers. And if you like to, you can go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you do, you can hit the little bell next to it. Uh, that'll activate the notification uh, feature where every time I do a video, you'll go ahead and be the first one to be uh, notified of uh, upload so i do want to thank you very much and like i say always on the videos happy reefing thank you bye bye